I promised y'all a meat episode. Well, hmm? it's the meat episode. Now I'm gonna have to bring some of this straight down to my chest freezer, but some of it has to be uh, dissected out of the Costco size packaging and brought uh, to the, the vacuum sealer and then sent up into smaller chunks or just honestly, if that's too much work, separate it, Ziploc bags, freeze it. I mean, a lot of times I don't do the vacuum seal unless I'm like sous vide -ing. Nice, there's still ice on this, that's excellent. Um, the meat district, the OG, ready to cook Angus brisket chuck and short rib beef patties. Probably some of the best frozen hamburgers I've ever bought. Yes, frozen, not fresh. Sue me, I wanna just pull out a hamburger out of the freezer anytime I want and go, boom, hamburger time. Um, I always get the Costco polio string cheese. <coughs> I know this is not meat, but it did come from a cow's titty. So that sort of counts a little bit. And the problem with getting the Costco size one is sometimes it's the greatest you've ever had. And sometimes the cows were just off that day or the mixture was off or the humidity was high and the, the cheese will go from, oh, loving and, and juicy to, to like, eh, like, eh, like this is off brand. And when you buy the Costco size, you get 48 of them. And if you're a human, you eat two at a time and you probably don't eat them every day. But even if you did eat them every day, that's like fucking almost three and a half weeks of, you know, mediocre cheese. But when it's good cheese, it's all about good cheese. As an Italian, I'm requiring everyone watching this to go out and at least get some Pecorino Romano. You can just eat this cheese. You just pinch it and eat it. It's like Parmesan cheese, only it comes from goat milk and not cow milk, and it's a little bit sharper. Um, I have been using expensive fucking butter for so long. Let's get one of these out right now. Fuck it. Like I just didn't have butter. I forgot to buy cheap butter. So I've been using my expansive, expansive French butter. And I'm like, that's dumb. I shouldn't be using French butter for this. And I'm probably gonna put three of these right there. The way I organize, I'm very organized. Um, this one can go down the basement, chest freezer, basement, chest freezer. This is a fridge, this is a fridge. Open, sesame. Yeah, get this shit out of that bag. See, now if you take an entire sleeve and go away, you have a health problem. Don't do that. No more than two, three if you're having a bad day. Look, I even still have three of them left. I made sure I rebought different packaging because I probably got these at the store. Yeah, I rebought. So let's put those on top so I finish those first. Uh, we can put the Pecorino Romano. And I, again, um, I'm not even close to out of the one I've got, but a 50 minute drive to Costco sucks, so I bought another one. This also means now that I have this, now that I have the big backup, I could just use this nonchalant, even though it's $11 a fucking bag. Mm, $11 a fucking bag. But if I'm about to run out, I'll be real gentle with my cheese. I'll be like, ooh. But if I've always got like a massive amount of cheese left, I'm gonna be like, bam, emerald that shit through, the, through that thing with my cheese and my food will benefit from that. My weight won't, but my, my food will benefit. I bought this and I feel bad for all those chickens that they don't sell. This is all the rotisserie chicken meat that they don't sell. I don't know why it's only breast meat. I would love if this was dark meat too. Um, this is not cheap either. This shit's like another 10, $11. But you can, it's like three pounds, 42 ounces, two pounds, 10 ounces. And what you do is you get like a progresso soup or a can of soup or a ramen and you just take a piece of that and you slop it on in there. You get on in there. I make a chicken salad out of that. You cut up a couple of pieces of celery and you're golden. Um, so this stuff, this is a $47.56 package. This is flap meat. And I don't know what part of the cow is the flap. Do you know which part of the cow is the flap? She knows. But they only sell it labeled as flap meat at Costco. And this sought a marinate for a little while in like soy and it's very thin and it's very stretchy. It's like accordion like and you squish it all together. You don't stretch it out and cook it. You bunch, you bunch the accordion together and you either put it in a frying pan or under the broiler and flip it. And if don't, don't overcook it and you take it out, then you accordion and cut it. Oh, and you cut it against the grain. Oh God, it's so fucking tender. A little lemon juice too. So this should be cut, how, bit, how much is it? Five pounds? I should get five packages out of that. One pound of meat per meal. 
Maybe I'll try to get four packages out of it so I don't feel bad. Um, I did buy a lot of meat simply because tomorrow is a holiday and I actually have guests. Chewbacca, we're gonna have a party. It's a little baby party with just two people and it's a sausage party because there's only two dudes coming. But women are covered in cooties and COVID. COVID and cooties. They're interchangeable now. But eventually, we'll have actual parties with people up in the mezzanine, and there'll be a bar up there, and it'll be well stocked. So I should probably only make one half of these ribs and then freeze the rest because I'm making like, like even though there's only two people coming, I'm cooking for like six people. Uh, organic chicken thighs. And I wouldn't normally have bought organic, Maybe I would have, but they didn't have any other chicken there. Costco was like cleaned out. Costco was very crowded. Um, and the organic stuff is better. Like just the most expensive chicken you could find at Whole Foods or fucking Costco or, or Wegmans. Try it once. Cook it right. Cook it till it's just cooked. Don't go like, oh, everybody says 165. No, you, you murder breasts at 165. Breasts are like 145. Just get them to like 145, 150 max. Thighs. Dark meat, 160. I have no problem with that. But don't over murder chicken. People do that all the time and it's no good. Um, I may or may not even cook any of these sausages tomorrow. I really didn't buy much green stuff. I need to go back out probably tomorrow morning. And then the, the piece de resistance. I like Premio, by the way. Sausage brands matter a great deal. There's um, like Sam's Club has one that's not good. And I actually went back and I got the, this one instead of the not prime. So I got. A $53.78 package of three prime rib, uh, ribeye steaks. Prime rib, mmm. Mmm. Three dudes, three prime ribs. It ain't just a sausage party, it's a meat fest. So, basement, basement. Um, I gotta cut this apart, and then I could take at least half of this. Because these, these are, like, you should be able to just tear them, but they never tear. So, I just never... That works way too well. Actually, take the one that is labeled hot Italian sausage and put it here. Put that in the freezer. Because that'll be the one you find in like six months. You're like, what is this? So that one. This is tomorrow. Half of this is tomorrow. This, I don't think I'm making tomorrow because of these. This is for soon. Actually, I make soup right now with this. This, I might do one of these packages tomorrow. I can cut this with a scissor. So I could freeze the rest. Because they were... Between one steak per person, one whole rack of ribs, because I think there's two racks of ribs in here. There's at least two. Maybe three, at least two? I don't know. Two racks of ribs, one rack of rib cooked, everyone gets a steak, a couple pieces of chicken, maybe some sausage, and I'll, I'll pull a burger out if someone wants that. But that's my meat hole for a party of three people. But I'm part of that party, and Chewbacca's part of that party, so... If, your whole Lord helmet. Um, that's it. What? Sausage? She bad girl. She doesn't understand what desks are anymore. She she used to know not to climb on my desk, and now my desk is like some new thing, and she's just walking all over it. You have no idea what a desk is. You have no idea. I'm going to have to block you from sleeping on my face, though, because it's really making my eyes watery. Anyway, that's today's meat unboxing. Pasta will link something appropriate in the comments, including a pasta secret link, which are the greatest things ever. We all love them. Thank you, Pasta, for doing these videos. I definitely do not have the tatter time. So thank her, everyone. Of course, I wouldn't be putting these out. Tomorrow, new one.